Hey guys, this is Nada from Tech Testers and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to talk about a very interesting brand new case from Kula Master, the Mastercase SL600M. Even though we've seen many master cases in the past few years, this one is something completely different. The whole idea behind this case is to offer that modern designer look to your desk, but with high performance and cooling that is fit for a high performing gaming system. In this SL series, the SL actually stands for sleek. Now to improve the performance, uh, Cooler Master took some bold steps away from what we are used to seeing in master cases and they implemented a few changes on the system layout and on the cooling methods in this case, making this case very unique on the inside as well as on the outside. This is definitely one of the cases where first impression is everything and there is no middle ground. You're either going to love this case or not. I personally belong to the former group as this case, design-wise, quickly topped my Cooler Master case list. Design is very minimalistic, very simple, with just a small outline of the Cooler Master logo on the front. Top and the front panels are made out of anodized aluminum with a beautiful sandblasted finish, and there's a tempered glass on one side to show off your build. They did pimp the front I.O. panel with sensor triggers. That means when your hand gets close to it, the USB slots will light up for an easy access in the dark, and they will stay on for a little while before turning off. There is two USB 3, two USB 2, and one USB Type-C slot. There is audio connections as well as a pretty cool fan controller that offers a low, medium, high, as well as the PWM setting. Now it's worth to mention that the headset connection supports headsets that use a single plug for microphone and headphone signal as well. The top of the case can be removed to increase the airflow and performance. There are dust filters on the bottom of the case, and they are only accessible from the back. Even though you have to move the whole case to reach them, they are foldable and easily removable by pulling up. They are a bit tricky to place back though. Now the inside of the case is very, very interesting. They implemented a vertical chimney effect layout here, which means that the two 200 mm fans are pulling the air in from the bottom and pushing it to the top of the case. For that to be possible, they had to move the power supply, so the power supply is actually on the side of the case to the front and they closed the back so they had a full pressure of the air going to the top. Now this case actually prefers air coolers, um, especially if they can be turned 90 degrees so they complement the airflow which is bottom to top. Now this vertical airflow prefers the vertical mounting of the GPU and they introduced another innovation for that. You can rotate the PCIe bracket window to give your vertical mount more options especially handy with thicker GPUs that can now be mounted closer to the motherboard, giving them more breathing space. Keep in mind, the PCIe riser cable is not included. Uh, now for the case that prefers the vertical mounting of the GPU, I do believe it should be included, even though that would rise the price significantly. Other than that, the inside is very spacious. It can fit pretty much any system you have in mind. Building it is pretty straightforward for a case with an unusual layout, and the vertical mount does give your build a bit more impressive look without lowering the performance. The back of the case is fairly simple with plenty of space for cable management. There's plenty of storage possibilities and they are very versatile. Just for SSDs, there is four slots, two on the PSU shroud, two in the back, and there are also four combination brackets available that can fit in 3.5, 2.5 inch drives, or even reservoir or pump for custom water cooling and they can be mounted on quite a few different spots in the case. Even though this is marketed as a quiet case, we were quite surprised at how quiet this case really is. On the lowest fan setting, you'll have a hard time hearing it at all, even on your desk, and on the highest setting with 37 decibels at 50 centimeters, it's really far from loud. Cooling-wise, which you can see in the graph, the temperatures are absolute which means this case does a fantastic job at cooling this RTX 2080. We know from some previous cases that the chimney effect works really well, and then with the GPU mounted vertically, away from the window, the temperatures are just fantastic. Now, the medium setting of the fan controller offers a perfect balance, but even on low, you would have no problems running a high-end system under full load. The Mastercase SL600M is a fantastic case that comes at a price of 200 euros or 200 US dollars. And in my opinion, it feels and it performs like a premium case worthy of its price. Now, when it comes to cases, it's all about the design and what you like. And if this is the sleek look you're going for, this is definitely worth the investment. 
it's a big 9.5 out of 10 for the SL600M. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.